Okay, here are some of the things that I used in this project. However, I'm going to have a full list in the description because it's not everything that's on the table right now. So when I started this project, I was actually just trying to purchase a frame, but I couldn't find one that had all the attributes that I wanted. So I went out to make one, but I couldn't find all the things that I wanted to put into the frame. So at this point, I'm actually kind of at a loss and I'm figuring it out as I go. So I'll have the full list in the description. And then if you like that picture of the baby, I actually have another video where I show you how I put that backdrop together and I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. I'm hot gluing this part down so that when I start drilling it doesn't move. I'm using brass colored washers because I think that the contrast of color with these silver screws is going to be cute. I'm also putting the washers down first so that I can use them as markers as to where I want to keep my screws. And I'm going to measure exactly the line that I want the washers to be on so that all of my screws are in the same place. You also want to measure the distance from the edge of the chalkboard to where the washer is so that all of them are symmetrical. And that's why you glue it down. So this is where I try to make a hole through the plaque in order to be able to restring the twine. So I started off trying to use a three quarter inch screw, but because I didn't account for the size of the chalkboard, that screw was too short. So then I tried to use a two inch screw, but then the one I chose was too wide. And then I chose a skinnier two inch screw and then that didn't work either, but it did put a indentation on the other side so I was able to just turn it over and screw from the other side to get a hole all the way through. Now I'm attempting to string the plaque with the twine by putting a sewing needle through the twine and 
pushing it through the itty bitty hole. I gave up on this endeavor, it didn't work. Instead I decided to twist the end of the twine and stick it as far as I could into the hole and then drill the screw right into the twine and it made a very sturdy hold. So with the twine attached in the front, it makes the frame angle in an unpleasant way, so I have to fix it. To hide my folly, I just put the same screws that I already had in there into the holes that I made to hide the fact that I had these useless holes now but I actually really liked the way that it looked and then I went ahead and added another one to the bottom so that it would be uniform. Now these last holes I'm making are going to be the official holes where the twine is going to hang. I'm just putting in the half inch screw and making the hole with that so that I can screw in the twine because like I said it was a very secure hold and I like that. So after I hung it and I looked at it for a couple of days, I realized that I really wanted to add more black to the overall appearance. So I want to paint the border black. And here I'm using just regular old scotch tape because it's what I had on hand, but you're welcome to use painter's tape or whatever have you. It's just, this is the kind of tape I had, so that's what I'm using. Lastly, I'm going to tape off a portion of the beveled edge of the frame and I'm going to use my golden paint marker to draw a line around the frame. So it's going to be a thin amount of gold and like that little oomph just made it perfect to me.
and here is the finished product which I absolutely love now and now there's nothing left to do but to send it to my grandfather who he's named after.